Hey friends, it's been a while. It is your friend in flowers, Lisa Mason Ziegler, and so glad to be dropping in on this incredible Monday, right? How about that eclipse? Holy cow, y'all. Yeah. Did you that go was, outside, Lisa? Did you go I see? did. I did. I put the glass. We, you know, we live where NASA is, and my sister brought NASA glasses for all of us. And it, I have to say, it was pretty remarkable looking at that, the sun and the moon. That was pretty amazing. So, friends, I'm joined here tonight um, by who many of you already know, Seed Talk co-host Lane Angelo. Hey, Lane. Hello. Hi, everybody. I, so, Lane and I made a big announcement, and the Gardener's Workshop launched something new today. And we're here to kind of tell y'all a little bit about it. And um, it's our new course, um, and it's called Cool Flowers seed to harvest. And we're going to talk more about what that is and what that means. And um, But before we jump um, straight into about the course, I thought this would just be a great opportunity for you guys to learn a little bit more about Lane. You know, Lane, so Lane is, I'll tell you how I know her. Lane <laughs> works with, uh, with our team at the Gardener's Workshop. Um, she applied to be a seed packer for lack of a better term right somebody that packages seeds for us and just kind of it just elevated from there and um she when she became the seed manager she was also the person receiving all the questions from you yeah. all questions about starting seeds right lane and oh yeah shooting and that led to the beginning of the seed talk podcast which has just taken off and then the next step came that we did this course together. So you tell us, Lane, a little bit about you and how you came to be here. All right. Well, I'm a lifelong gardener and I love starting seeds. I've been starting seeds for just about 17 years now, which seems like a long time when I say it out loud. I looked up when I bought my first grow lights the other day in preparation for all this course marketing stuff. And I love gardening. I love growing flowers, all sorts of plants. And my husband and I live in Williamsburg, Virginia. We're originally from California, but we live here in Williamsburg now about 40 minutes or so from Lisa, I'd say. And we have an acre of land where we grow all sorts of plants and, of course, lots of flowers. And I actually have a background in engineering before I came to the Gardener's Workshop. So I have a degree in bioengineering. And like Lisa said, now I'm the seed manager here at the Gardener's Workshop and I co-host Seed Talk, the podcast with her. And... I just love doing the podcast because I get to interact with everyone. And like Lisa said, I actually asked her to create that podcast as a result of my work as a seed manager, because a large part of my job involves troubleshooting with people, ask, answering their questions about sowing, harvest stage, all these different things. And I thought, well, why don't we just make a podcast where we can discuss it and I can direct people there instead of me writing these very long essays back to them each time. So, <laughs> so it's just, I think it's fun for everyone and I'm just so happy to do it. And the thing about the podcast is it's so great, but it is a podcast. So there are limits to what we can actually do and share on there. And what I kept getting requests from, from people was, I would love to see you sowing seeds. Can you demonstrate how you actually sow these seeds in soil blocks? I'm not sure how far to push them down. Can you show us the proper harvest stage, like a live demonstration? And those are just things we can't really do on the podcast. And so that kind of made the idea come into my head to go ahead and do this course. And that's how Cool Flowers from Seed to Harvest was born. And we've been working on this project for over a year now. So it's just so exciting that it's finally come out and we're able to share it with everyone. Yeah, it is pretty exciting. So before we jump into talking about what you'll find in that course, uh, I want to say some housekeeping things. First off, we love it for you guys to post your questions about the course. Yeah. Um, and if you have any questions about if you are one of our course owners, please chime up and tell people. Folks that have never bought a course, I remember being this way, just really don't understand how easy and convenient it is to do that. So if you're one of our course, because we consider you part of our family, once you buy a course from us, you're in the family. Um, and so we'd love to hear comments about that. And then we're here to answer your questions about the courses and how they work and um, all of that. So Lane, 
I um, want to just talk just a minute about how courses work for those. I'm going to first tell you what cool flowers are. Yeah. Then I'm going to tell you how courses work. So um, cool flowers is actually the name of my book that was published in 2014. And it was actually a group of flowers that I launched my flower farming career on back in 1998. So I had been growing this family of flowers for quite some time and just learning that not many people knew how to grow them because you kind of plant them at an awkward time. It's not when we always yeah. think it's not as cut and dry, right? As warm no. season. And so it's a little bit more, ha you know, head scratching. So I wrote this book and, you know, at first it was like, it was climbing up a very steep mountain y'all because I can, so many people, I had one radio host actually say to me live on the radio, you know, this cannot be true. <laughs> Said, oh. Yeah, it was pretty interesting anyway, but it's our understanding of things and about what an annual is and what cool season hardy annuals are. So cool flowers are basically a, is a concept of how it's best to grow cool season hardy annuals. Some of us, depending on where we live, can plant some in the fall or we can plant them in very early spring. And so that book really introduced the concept to the world. We sell more cool flower books today than we did the year that it got published, which that's very unusual in the book world. Um, so that now that it's caught on and people are growing them, they're so hungry for more information. And that kind of led, you know, lit the fire to Lane to really pull this together and for us to do this course. Now, Lane, why don't you talk about the course a little bit and just kind of give us a snapshot of what people may actually find in the course. And then I'll share with them a little bit about how they would use their course. Right. Would you like me to go through the whole syllabus right now or do you want me to just give a brief summary to start with? Yeah, if you want to just tell us what the, the chapters are for lack of people not knowing what a syllabus is. That's just basically the outline. Um, so that would be great. Yeah. OK, I have it down here in front of me. So the first it's divided into six classes and the first four classes really walk you through the cool flowers concept that Lisa was just referring to. So the first class is cool flower basics, and it has an introduction to what cool flowers are. And it has a detailed session on when to plant. Like Lisa said, it's a bit more complicated than for a warm season tender annual. So we walk you through that fall, very early spring, whether you're starting transplants, whether you're direct seeding, and even if you live somewhere in a frost-free climate and you can't use our time references for planting before your frost date because you don't have a frost date. So we go through that. There's a succession planting session. And then we move into class two, which is seed starting tips. So there are all sorts of things in there, the timing and soil blocks versus plug trays. There's a whole session on how to set up your grow room and to grow these cool flowers. So the temperatures they prefer, the heat mat setup they prefer, tips for sowing pelleted seeds, hardening off. There's a demonstration of direct seeding that's very detailed and a transplant size demonstration. That's one of the most common questions we always get is, how do I know these transplants are the right size to go out? Don't you get that all the time? Lisa? Yes, all the time. And I, it's very curious to me that sometimes it's very seasoned farmer friends of mine that are like, how big are they when you plant them? You know? And so, yeah, yeah. so that's just another great piece of this is the visuals. From yeah, course. I think sometimes they're a lot smaller than people think when they're ready to go out when we grow in those three quarter inch soil blocks. So that's an interesting one. And then in class three, we grow into growing and harvesting tips. So everything from bed preparations and the basics of using row cover for our cool season hardy annuals, as well as pinching, support netting, fertilizing, some harvesting and conditioning tips, and even some information about coolers. And then we move into class four, which is a really great session. This is Cool Flower FAQs and Troubleshooting. And this is a place where we've collected all the questions that I'm constantly answering as seed manager. So there's a seed starting FAQs, a timing and growing FAQs, and then a harvesting and conditioning. So we address everything from I want to direct seed in very early spring, but you don't recommend direct seeding in very early spring, or there's stuff growing on my soil blocks, or how much seed do I start? all the way to, I have seedlings that are forming buds in their trays, what do I do? Or things are wilting, or the buds aren't continuing to open after we cut. So all those great questions that are the most frequently asked are in that class four. And then we move into 
the meat of the class, I would say, and that's classes five and six, and those are the flower profiles. So we've separated them out into those that we recommend direct seeding and those that we recommend transplanting. And each of the flower profiles, I can't begin to describe how comprehensive they are, but they basically take you all the way from seed to harvest in a visual way. So as much as I love PowerPoints, and Lisa knows I love PowerPoints, there aren't really PowerPoints in this. It's all videos and photo imagery that we collected out at the farm or in my own garden. So just to paint a picture for everyone, my husband and I would show up, we're like 40 minutes from the farm. We would show up at six in the morning. <laughs> Right, Lisa? Ready to film. Yep. Looking good. We had to look good and have our hair done and oh, makeup yeah. on and yeah. Oh, yeah. Very fun with bugs biting us and everything. There were smoke from wildfires one time, which it looks when you watch the course back, it looks like it's a lovely misty morning, but it was actually smoke from wildfires. Okay. But anyways. <laughs> Forgot in, that. <laughs> yes. In the flower profiles, it goes through everything from talking about the background of the seed. So everything you'd want to know, things that kind of make that flower special. And it includes images of not only the flowers, but the plants themselves. So I garden largely in my landscape. And I know that the plant, the way the plant looks in the landscape is really important to us home gardeners that are growing out there. We don't just care about the flower. So that's in there. There are seedling and baby plant images and even images of the seeds you know, sometimes you put seeds out and you kind of forget what you've left there. So there's images of seeds in the course. And then we go into a sowing demonstration. So it's everything you need to know from the hardiness, how deep it needs to be sown or how deep it needs to be pushed in soil blocks. And for all the seeds we recommend transplanting, there's an actual demonstration of sowing in soil blocks because that's such a big question that we get because it's different than sowing in plug trays if you're not familiar with that. Then we actually move into the field demonstration. So the field demonstration is we go out and I ask the exact same questions for every flower of Lisa. So we put up on the screen when she starts her different successions, when she does her plantings as a reference, which we explain in other parts of the course that that's gonna vary depending on your growing conditions. But then we go through everything from how do you space them? Should they be pinched? Should they be netted? And then we do an up close and personal demo of where to make the cut and the proper harvest stage. So, and we don't just show the proper harvest stage. We go in and say, this is too early and this is why, this is too late and this is why, and this is just right. And then Lisa goes down and she makes the cut, pulls up the stem, always long stems, right, Lisa? Yep. And then, and then strips the stems to show you how to do that. And then we finish up with some questions about pests and diseases and if there are any special conditioning tips for each flower. And sometimes depending on the flower, there's even a variety comparison at the end and in the field variety comparison or like for the giant poppy pod session there's a seed saving demonstration that bupleurum has an indoor sowing demonstration which you do lisa for winter plantings instead of direct seeding so there's all sorts of stuff like that and then as if that wasn't enough at the very end there's there's a great <laughs> summary slide that has all the key points on it i have one down here actually so it has the sun requirements the planting method we recommend when to sow the soil block size, everything, pinching, netting, harvest stage, where to cut, base life. So that way, if you're just out in the field and you don't feel like watching the whole video session, maybe you've already watched it, you can literally scrub to the very end of the video and just see, oh, this seed needs to be covered or doesn't need to be covered, or this is when I'm supposed to harvest, this is where I'm supposed to cut. So it's just very handy and easy to use. You know, and I want to just say that one of the things that after now, I've been growing cool flowers, cool season, hardy annuals um, for over two and a half decades. While it may sound or be a little intimidating to people to try to figure out when they should plant cool season, hardy annuals, the reward is so incredible. This is what drives this, y'all. If you're a if you're a flower farmer, this is your first three months of cash crops before the warm season stuff really gets going, right? And this course is so comprehensive um, of really taking you by the hand and as Lane just outlined, giving you blow by blow exactly what you need to do to grow them. So Lane, I see um, someone's asking about, um, and I'm sure someone's thinking this, um, do we include um, winter hardy zones? 
Yes. Winter, winter hardiness zones. Yep. Winter, I, I and we temperature, did. Temperatures as well. So if you live somewhere outside the United States, you can use those temperature references instead. Exactly. And when I just wrote the cut flower handbook, we actually use temperatures instead of USDA zones for that reason, because it's an international book. Right. 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 And so this concept is very it's not new, y'all. Our grandmothers and great grandmas practice this. I just kind of pulled it out of the closet and shook it off because as a flower farmer that does not have any hoop or greenhouses, I can't in the middle of the city. That's what led me to pursue, pursue this group of flowers. What could I grow outdoors in a garden and have the earliest and most abundant blooms? And I am telling y'all, we, I just found that these cool season hardy annuals are absolutely amazing. So let me um, just talk a minute. So I know that somebody's probably thinking, well, I have the book. Well, the book is the companion, right? That's the starting point. Right. That's the basic concept. This is, how long is this course? It's almost five and a half hours of yeah. lessons. Yeah. And it's broken up into bite-sized right. short sessions. This is taken, this is the deep dive. I mean, if you're a commercial cut flower farmer, a budding flower farmer, you know, who should take this class? The flower enthusiast, or who should take, should purchase this course? The flower enthusiast, a wannabe flower farmer, flower farmers, farmer florist. I mean, this is the spring blooms, right? There are some that bloom later in the season, but the lion's share is, I mean, I have a garden out behind me, but I outside of this building that's on the verge of blooming. Um, yeah. and it was all planted in very early spring or in the fall. And um, this just really takes you by the hand. So it does. And can I just add that I really feel like this course brings the book to life. And yeah. I was saying this to you earlier, Lisa, but it's like if you were trying to learn how to tie your shoe and it doesn't matter how many times you could read a description of how to tie your shoe or you see a picture demonstrating how to tie a shoe. But when you see it in video, there's just something different yeah. about it and it just clicks. And I know there are a lot of people that are really visual people and that's the best way they learn. And so it's I really do think it's just the best resource to bring that book to life. It does. So I do see a question. Some Cynthia asks, what is the cost of the course? The course is three hundred and forty nine dollars. And if you are a member of the TGW family, that means if you own any of our courses, you should have gotten a special email that has a little bit of a special offer in it. Um, so if you are already a TGW family member, um, we have a special offer that's only available. I think it's only for three days. So you should um, take that, take a look around in your email box. And she's asked, and Cynthia asked, does it expand deeper than your new book? It is, it's not so much, it is deeper. It's deeper as it shows you it how to do it, you know? Um, yeah. And so there's only so much, as Lane said, I mean, there's a place for books, there's a place for videos, there's a place for in-person, um, you know, meeting in person and seeing this stuff in a garden. Um, but can I, this can I also add, Lisa, that if you do buy the course, we highly recommend downloading the mobile app. So the platform that hosts the course is called Kajabi, and you can actually download the app and then log into your course from there, which means that all this fabulous information is available at your fingertips wherever you are, as long as you have a cell signal or a Wi-Fi connection. So you could literally be sowing seeds in your grow room and want to know, do I cover this or not? And do that. You yeah. could be out in the field and your hands are all dirty and you're not probably going to go inside and want to grab your book. You can just grab your phone and flip to how to space your transplants. If you want to net or you're about to harvest and you want to make sure you're doing it right, it's all right there in your back pocket. And, you know, people have said for years now that, you know, Dave Dowling, who's another, one of our other instructors, people say, yep, I carry Dave Dowling in my back pocket because Dave yeah. is our walking encyclopedia and Lane is right there with him, y'all. Um, so I see that Jennifer's asking, I took your flower farming course. Will there be any new material in this course or does it deep, de dive deeper? Jennifer, so flower farming school is a wide look at all aspects of starting a flower farming business, you know, starting the business and then what are you building your garden and then warm season and cool season annuals and then harvesting and then selling your flowers. 
Yes, this course is a deep dive on that little bit of cool season hardy annuals that are in there. Um, you know, if I did a deep dive on all the areas of starting a flower farming business, that would have been a month long class, literally. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you just can't do that. Right. So this is what's going to up your game and just take you to the very um, next special. And Jesse, please answer me on this. Cynthia is asking, does the special include the club members? I'm in the club and enjoy enjoying the platform so much. Cynthia, I am almost positive. The answer to that is yes. But we'll let um, Jesse, who's on here adminning, confirm that for us. Um, and I, that'll help me. I'll be able to actually share that also. And I'm glad you, if y'all don't know about that, I have a private community. Oh, yes. And yes, Jesse said. So you need to look for that special email with that special offer because once you're in our family of learning, then you're always in our family. And um, we treat family kind of special. Can I just um, add something, Lisa? I just sure. wanted to say that for farmers, because I work with and talk with a lot of farmers, and one of the most common questions I get is about the harvest stage. This is like walking through the field with Lisa. Honestly, that's what it's like. And that's what I wanted it to be like. And like I said, I literally had a checklist out there and made sure to ask the exact same question. So we got comprehensive coverage on every single flower. And it's literally just up close shots of this is exactly when to harvest. You know, this is where we make the cut. This is how I strip it and any other little tips and tricks along the way. And, you know, none of this, um, I mean, you could read the book, you could read Cool Flowers, or you could read the Cut Flower Handbook and you can grow flowers. Um, but this is for those folks that want to up their game and go deeper and wider or that just learn better this way. I mean, I am a very visual person. Oh, um, yeah. I read and I mean, I buy audio books and I also buy the book, y'all. I listen to the book and mark my book up and highlight. You know, that's the way that I learn and retain. And everybody is different. Um, but this resource, we are just, we get more questions about the cool flower concept than any, uh, well, maybe not as many as seed starting, but it's right there neck and neck yeah. because it's, it's not that it's so hard. It's just so opposite of what we think or have thought for all these years. Right. Yeah. So let me say this about courses. So I'm going to look at my list here. When you purchase one of our online courses, whether it's one of our big schools or a workshop like this one is, or one of our many workshops, when you purchase it, it is yours. It's just like buying a book. It is yours for life. You, as long as you have access to internet um, through cell signal or Wi-Fi, and you log into your online library that we host, your courses are right there. You can watch it over and over and over. You have unlimited lifetime access. And there's some really cool features um, when, whether you're on the desktop or in the app, you can speed the video up or you can slow it down. I watch almost all of my courses in double speed. You can still clearly understand. Um, and so there's a lot of really fun stuff. And it's searchable as well. So if you're looking for something in particular, we've really clearly labeled each of the sessions is time stamped beneath it. So even within the flower profiles, it's time stamped. So it says like sewing demonstration, field demonstration. So you can easily scrub over to that. But then even if you're looking for some of the other things like hardening off, you can search for that right. and it will direct you to that session. And Lane, there's handouts, right? Oh, yes. There are nine handouts. And they are such good ones. I'm not just saying that. So at the end of, like I mentioned, at the end of each session, there's that summary slide. So we have two handouts that include all of those summary slides kind of together. It's two per page. And then we have a cool flowers planting time guide that goes in detail. It's a little chart about when you can plant in fall and what to plant in fall, very early spring, when to plant biennials, what to do if you're in frost free zones. And then we have three quick reference guides for transplants direct seeding and growing and harvesting. So it's basically everything summarized in a really concise one page guide that you can just reference. If you wanna know what your room setup needs to be, your temperatures or anything, it's all right there. And then we have a botanical name lookup table for anyone that wants to convert the botanical name to the common name. And then we have a zone planting and succession guide for transplants and direct seeding, which gives you tips for succession planting wherever you live. And then also gives 
concrete examples of what Lisa does at the farm for succession planting. And we describe that she's in a very hot, humid climate where spring-like conditions tend to be short-lived. So we just include it as a reference. But I know that's something people are constantly asking is, well, right. when did Lisa start her succession? So that's a really good way to get a jumping off point to see when what you might want to plant. So I just brought up Cynthia's question because um, I wanted to say, Cynthia, if you can't, so once you're a member of the TGW family, which means you have purchased any online course that we offer, um, you should have received a special offer email. Um, it's only good for a few days. I think it's three days. I should know that, but I'm sorry, I don't. But I'm saying, Cynthia, if you can't find it, all you need to do is to email info at the gardeners workshop dot com and Anne will get that email resent to you um, and get you the link for the special offer. And um, just to say again that um, we're, we're so thrilled with my new club community. We're just having so much fun creating content for it. And that's what Cynthia is a member of. And that special family does extend to my club members. Um, so let's see what this question is. I have had no success in germinating both carnations and snapdragons. Will you cover germinating problems with these flowers? The course does cover those, right. don't they, Diane? We, we have that screen. in, we, yeah, it covers those two flowers. And then in addition, we do have a question in the seed starting FAQs and troubleshooting that was, I'm having issues germinating, whatever, you know, fill in the blank for any flower. And that is in there. So that's in the troubleshooting section as well. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, this is for those folks that really want to grow cool season hardy annuals. This is. And so who should take the class? I have my little list here. I mean, for sure, if you're a flower farmer, um, this is the biggest cash crop group of my farm. Um, because when is the highest demand for cut flowers, y'all? Yep. Spring. What blooms in the spring? Cool season hardy annuals. And that's what this course is all about teaching you. Um, aspiring flower farmers, this is a great way um, to get your feet wet. And I will add that we have flower farmers now that are tweaking their business models so that guess they are selling flowers only in the spring and very early summer because those are the high demand times and yeah. then literally not harvesting through the summer when and depending on where you are there can be lower demand it's hotter da 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 this is the group of flowers that is flagship and that new business model um, for many flower farmers passionate home gardeners you know we sell we, i sold a lot of flowers to a lot of garden club ladies as well as church flower guilds um and a lot of those people during that 20 years began growing their own flowers because they were so inspired by how easy it can be when the timing's right right lane yeah. i mean that's what this is really all about getting you to yeah. Follow the right steps, right? Yeah. And I did really make sure, like I mentioned before, to include that landscape perspective because I am a home gardener and it does matter to me what it looks like out there in the landscape, whether it looks good for a longer period of time. I always make sure to point out if there are any seed heads that form that look interesting, if it has interesting looking foliage, if it has a lot of, if it draws a lot of interest from pollinators and beneficial insects. So that stuff's all in there as well. It's really for everyone, anyone that loves flowers and wants to learn about growing cool flowers. And, you know, um, Jesse is pointing this out and, you know, there's, there's so many incredible benefits beyond just having flowers in spring, the most in demand and the most anticipated season of the year is that cool flowers bloom during that time that our pollinators and beneficial insects are just perusing for oh, flowers, yeah. right? There's just not a whole lot um, that's going on out there yeah. in the garden so often. Um, and so that's something I feel like that was one of the reasons that we have such a strong beneficial insect. You know, we use no pesticides on my farm, organic or yeah, otherwise. We don't either. And we can do that because of the strong beneficial creatures and because we roll out the red carpet with the blooms from these flowers. Um, so friends, you know, do you have time to take this course? Well, you should because it's broken up into small segments, meaning you could watch a couple of sessions over your lunch break. I mean, if you're working and wondering how am I going to fit this in, it is really formatted for 
bits and pieces and then you can go back in, right? And watch the whole thing. And aside from being informative, it's really just fun to watch. And the images, the imagery is just so beautiful. And I have to say that even my husband, Harach, who was helping me spell check some of the things on the screen, he was watching the videos back. And I was like, oh, thanks so much for doing this. And he was like, well, I'm actually looking forward to the, ne <laughs> to the next session. <laughs> so he was enjoying watching. And then even when I passed it along to Kelly, Lisa, your niece, who is actually the online course ma manager, she watched it and she was kind of like, I had been telling her, I was like, it really turned out. It's really, really good. And she watched it and she was kind of speechless. And she just said to me, this is literally everything I could ever want to know about growing each of these flowers. Yeah. And it's just, it's fun. It's informative. And we have a way for you to view a sample session yeah. too. I don't know when you're going to mention that. But I was just getting ready to say <laughs> that. So there's a couple of things that you can do. Now, Jesse has posted in the comments, if you're watching us on YouTube, the replay after the fact, um, you go to the live area um, is where the video is. And there's actually a place where the comments from the live um, show stream actually shows this. And she has the, li the link in there where you can go straight to that page um, or you can actually go straight to the actual, I'm just reading that. And there it is. She's got it straight to the sneak peek where you get to yes. watch one of very many sessions yeah. for free and just get wet your taste bud, y'all. Yeah. And, and I don't know if we even mentioned before, but it covers 36 different cool season hardy annual flowers. So you can go and watch the Rebecca session and it's basically that times 36. You can just imagine that plus all the information about all the background classes one through four about the cool flowers concept. Yep. And the, the sessions vary in length, obviously, for each flower. For some, there aren't variety comparisons because maybe there's only one variety. For some, there are more or there's something special. So they vary in length, but it's 36 different flowers that at any given time, you can just click on the ones you're interested in and watch those. You definitely do not need to watch the flowers all in order. Right. So um, so you can get the sneak peek. It's in the comments. If you're watching the replay and you can't figure out how to find that, you can always go to the gardenersworkshop.com and go to the course page. It's right down. I think it's about halfway down the page where you can request to get the sneak peek. Yep. Now, if you're one of my followers on social media, if you're in Instagram or Facebook, you can just literally type the word flower in any comment in anywhere. And that means that you'll get a DM with the link directly to the video session. So we're trying to make it kind of easy for y'all to get in there mm -hmm. and actually check it out. Um, so I want to say again, if you're already one of our students, you got a special offer email, which is only available for three days. Um, and we don't want you to miss out on that. If you have trouble um, actually finding that, just email info at thegardenersworkshop.com and Anne will actually help get that to you. Once she verifies that you're a student, then she'll get that link to you. Um, so Lane, what else should we add to wrap this up um, and let people go over there and get the course and watch the session so they'll be hungry for it? I mean, I really feel like people just need to see it and you're going to instantly know if you want to see the other 35 flowers. So I would just say, go over, get the sneak peek. Every flower is laid out in the exact same way. Obviously there are differences between each flower, but you're going to know when you see it. And if you're anything like Lisa and I, you're going to want it. <laughs> and um, just side note, Rude Beckia is mine and Lane's oh, favorite yeah. flower of yeah. the moment anyway. We have a lot of favorite flowers, yes. but we just absolutely love Rude Beckia's. We and there's do. so many different ones that people just don't know about. Yeah. And that's and why we wanted, to share, we wanted to share that session. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that's how we kind of shared that. So friends, please check it out. And I don't want any of our family members to miss that special offer. Um, and, you know, this is so, you know, Lane, what I did want to highlight, while it may not be time right now to start Cool Flowers, it is the harvesting stages yes. that we felt so strong about that people are getting ready to harvest cool flowers now. People deep south are already harvesting cool flowers. So that's going to be a course that's not just about starting the seed and planting it. 
this is about the tail end of the journey too, the actual oh, getting yeah. the flower. I think the harvest stage can be the most complicated part. And there are little nuances between what's it just right and then too late or too early. And right. that's all highlighted. Yeah, it's right. perfect timing for harvest season. So you can find the course over at thegardenersworkshop.com. It's about five hours long, chopped up into tiny little sessions. The course is $349. Um, you get immediate and unlimited lifetime access when you purchase it. Um, and we just hope that you're going to love it as much as we spent a year loving making it and yes. getting those flowers, just getting it. We just love providing the answers to the questions that we hear over and over and over and over again. Yeah, it's really does, helping. It doesn't need to be that hard. This is the resource you can go to now and make your life so much easier. Yeah. Yep. You don't have to search around and not know who to trust. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell if you can trust different source, but you know you can trust this. And it just is easy to use. It's right at your fingertips and you're going to have lots of beautiful flowers. Yeah, so thanks for joining us, everybody. And we can't wait to hear how you love our new course. Um, we're that confident. We just are totally can't wait to hear from you guys. All right, friends, let's wrap it up, Lane, until we meet again, friends. Ciao. Bye.